How's it going, guys? We meet again. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to proceed English Year Five Plus One. So today we're going to talk about Starter Unit Lesson Four. If you have downloaded the digital book, it should be on page seven. So let's talk about today's objective. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to ask questions with the verb be about where people and things are. There are two things we are going to learn today. The first one is possessive apostrophe, and the second one is asking questions. So let's talk about the first one. What is possessive apostrophe? There are mainly two types possessive apostrophe. The first one is apostrophe s, and the second one is s apostrophe. Next, we're going to talk about the function of possessive apostrophe. Possessive apostrophe is used to show possession of someone or something. In Chinese, 拥有这个东西 In Malay, 可不要按是刷土 Now let's try to differentiate these two types of possessive apostrophe. When are we going to use apostrophe s? We're going to use apostrophe s when it is in singular situation. What about s apostrophe? We're going to use s apostrophe when we are in plural situation. So now we're going to try an example for possessive. Apostrophe. First, we are going to try apostrophe s. If you look at this picture, there is a book, and then this book belongs to the girl. So usually, we are going to say this book belongs to this girl. But today, we are going to learn apostrophe s. So what are we going to say? We are going to say the girl's book. Now let's try an example for s apostrophe. Say there isn't only one girl. Say there are two girls and a book. Usually, we're going to say this book belongs to these girls. But today, we're going to learn s apostrophe. So what are we going to say? We're going to say the girl's book. Then of course, there are some special cases on possessive apostrophe s. Say there are still two girls and one book, but now I'm not going to use the word girls. Instead, I'm going to use children. Children is a plural form for child, which means there are more than one child. So am I going to use apostrophe s or s apostrophe? I'm going to use apostrophe s, which is the children's book. Let's try another example. Now I'm not going to use children. Instead, I'm going to call their names. So am I going to use apostrophe s or s apostrophe? I'm going to use apostrophe s. Lisa and Cindy's book. So let's proceed to another lesson, which is asking questions. When we are asking questions, what are we expecting? What are we expecting people answering us when we are asking questions? We are expecting them to answer us yes or no. So how do we prove yes or no? If you look at this chart I've provided on our previous lesson. The same rules still apply, but this time we're going to use it as a reference to ask questions. Let's look at the first question. You good at skateboarding? What is the subject pronounced in this question? Let's refer to the provided chart. The answer is you. For subject pronounced you, what is the verb be affirmative form? It's are. 
The answer is, are you good at skateboarding? Now let me ask you something. Normally, when we ask questions, do we answer it ourselves? It's not logic, right? When we ask question, it should be a conversation between two persons. So the question should be referred to another person, isn't it? So how should you respond to this question? Since you, since you are responding to this question, you should use Yes, I am instead of You are. So the answer should be Yes, I am or No, I'm not. If you're using you are or you are not instead, then it'll be ridiculous. Question number two. Your laptop on your desk? If you refer to the previous chart I've shown you before our lesson, if you want to use a subject pronoun to refer to the notebook, which is the most suitable pronoun, the answer is it. So, so if the subject pronoun is it, which verb B affirmative statement should we use? The answer is is. Is your laptop on your desk? If your notebook is on your desk, then yes, it is. Otherwise, no, it isn't. Last question. I missing anything. Subject pronouns I. What's the verb be affirmative for subject pronouns I? The answer is M. So, am I missing anything? Same situation should go to this as the first question. The only difference is if you are the one asking question now, so how should you respond to this situation? The answer is yes, you are. Or no, you aren't. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next one.